Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page two of Sonora, page two of Sonora. So we've got a left and a right flap, and let's see. So uh, let me describe what I did before I go any further so you'll know why, I, why we're cutting these panels the way we are. As soon as I hear this, okay. So I took this image from the 8x8 collection pack and I split it in half. So each one of these is four inches. So I made this panel, the left hand panel, four and five eighths, four and five eighths. So I made it just an eighth inch larger so I wouldn't have to cut anything off the designer paper in the width. And then on this side, I made it even wider so that it would accommodate a magnet. So this is four and five eighths by eight, four and five eighths by eight. And this is five and three quarters by eight, five and three quarters by eight. So when the flaps are closed, I want this to be a continuous pattern. So it's gonna look like that. There'll be a small black seam between the two of them. But to compensate for this being larger and to hide a magnet, I'm gonna use this strip, which came from the eight by eight collection pack. And it is from the sheet. So I took these two patterns and we're gonna add it right there. When it's in the closed position, we're not gonna see this piece. Okay, so let's get started. I just wanted to give you the background on why I'm doing what I'm doing. And I wanna make sure I've got it. This is the right side up. So the smaller of the two flaps, the four and five eighths is going on the left hand side. And the five and three quarters by eight is going on the right hand side. It's gonna go just like that. So we're gonna place a magnet right here. <clears throat> and this strip should cover it on both sides, okay? So let's, I'm gonna hold this down. Let me get you something in here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna hold down my decorative strip about where it goes and I'm gonna draw a little reference line. I'm gonna place my magnet in the middle. So I know my magnet belongs in the middle there somewhere. Okay, get some wide tape to go over that, but not too much because I don't have a whole lot of room to play with here. Okay, and then we want to put the opposing magnet on this side. Oh my dogs, her hair is everywhere. There's just no avoiding it if you have a German Shepherd. <laughs> okay. I got, that's bugging me. I gotta get a pair of tweezers and get it pulled out. <laughs> if I can get a hold of it, there we go. I'm sure you guys couldn't see it, but I could. Okay, there we go. All right, now I have this new magnetic board, so when I put a magnet on anything, it, it wants to stay. So when I open the flap, it didn't want to lift up. Okay, so that's this side. This again is from the 8x8 collection pack. This is gonna go right here. Whoa. My right hand has given me fits today, so I'm hoping I can get a couple of pages in before my thumb gives out. Don't, don't be surprised if you don't see me drop a few things. This, uh, it's not working right. And this can go here. 
I think I want, just want to see my edges. I want to dry fit it real quick and see how I, if I'm going to be okay. And it looks, looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to actually lay this piece down first. And then if by some strange reason I need to do any trimming, I'll trim it off this side so that when the flaps are closed, we still have the continuous pattern. of the edge here and I don't think I'm I think I'm gonna be yeah it's ready to go so this I'm gonna help you out with that a little bit so if you're looking at this pattern you're going to cut right at the green and then on this side you're gonna cut at the orange so between the orange and the white that's where you're gonna go and here's the green and then if you have this at four inches, it should fit on your five and three quarter inch panel, but test it. You can see the little bird's feet here. So that looks nice and it also gives us a nice place for our magnet here. Okay, so on the inside, I chose this blue pattern that's gonna go on the left and right flaps. And that makes, the, you know, for a really nice simple background backdrop for your photo. And then I chose this kind of tight pattern to go right here. And let me see if this is, this is five and a half by four and a quarter. So that's roughly the size of a four by six, right? So you can see what you can uh, put down in terms of photo distribution for this layout. I had a panic attack that I hadn't hit record, but I did, we're good. And you can see there's just a little bit of blue in, in the uh, pillow here, which I'm pulling back in.
this keeps slipping out of the front pocket. That is page two. Be back soon.